Good evening and welcome to this Wednesday night Compline service online with our St. Paul's community. My name is Ben, one of the priests at the church, and I'm glad that you've taken the, this time to join us in prayer, in uh, reflection and meditation as a, as a time to um, come to the end of the day. If you're joining us on Wednesday, that's great, but I also know that some of you are joining us throughout the week. As usual, there is uh, the Compline order of service that is in the description, a PDF. There are booklets available at the church if you'd like to pick one up. Uh, you can talk to those at the front desk at the reception. At this time, I do invite you to come in preparation as we pray and as we um, gather our thoughts to God. And we start with the preparation. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We now take this time to reflect on the day that has passed, on the several days perhaps, on the week that has passed, where we have um, seen God, perhaps how we've interacted with our fellow neighbors. We say the words of penitence together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I've been singing the, the first hymn uh, several times now, and I uh, wanted to change it and to um, now sing the Post Hilleron, O Gracious Light. Uh, there is a, a tune that is in the book of uh, in the Common Praise Hymn Book. If you have a copy of that, it is found on page on uh, page seven five two. And this is "O Gracious Light," the Foss Hill on. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ. Holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Let me continue on page four with the Word of God. And today I will be reading uh, Psalm 4. And if you have a book of alternative services. Uh, I will be reading that version, that translation, which is found on page uh, 7, 707. This is Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. You have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. 
Tremble then, and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices, and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. And we pray this prayer at the end here. Faithful Defender, do not let our hearts be troubled, but fill us with such confidence and joy that we may sleep in peace and rise in your light. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As I was reflecting and preparing um, for this, this common service, um, I took some time to, to read the four different scriptures, and one of them that I've been taking to heart, um, and that really applies to me, is the second one from Matthew 11. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I reflected on this passage, I've been thinking of uh, a year now in ministry that I've just passed recently, and uh, I'm coming now into a second year of ordination, of my ordination as, as a deacon. That was May 1st last year. And the, the burden of ministry has been, has been uh, mentioned to me many times by my family. Uh, part of their experiences of, of church and uh, pastors that they've known, the long hours and the burdens that, that are borne by pastors and, and priests. And, uh, and I've thought of how um, many of the, the things that we hear Jesus commanding us to do, that he invites us to be a partner with him, they can sound very, and they can feel very heavy and very difficult to do. And indeed they are sometimes. They are difficult to do on our own. They are difficult to do on our own strength, by our own power, with our own resources. But that is not what Jesus is talking about here. We are weary, perhaps, weary from doing the Lord's work, and sometimes the Lord's work is a heavy burden. But here Jesus is inviting us to come to his rest. There is still a yoke. But we can learn from him because his yoke is easy. His burden is light. And so it is um, a bit of a, a mystery how that happens. How we can be working hard for Christ. And yet having a yoke that is easy, that the hard challenges that he calls us to can also be a light burden. So that is something for us to reflect on today. Now let's continue with the responses on page five. 
Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And we say together the, the gospel canticle, the Nunc Dimittis. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. At this time, we transition to our prayers, transition to intercessions, and intercessions are the prayers and the requests that we offer up to God. And as we've done over the past season, uh, I'll be using the litany for Easter, as we have only a few more weeks in Easter. And so if you'd like to follow along, uh, it is on page 122 of the Book of Alternative Services. And this is the Easter litany is um, the response for the Easter litany follows. Let us pray to the Lord with hear us, Lord of glory. So in hope and joy, let us pray to the source of all life. And we pray that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. We pray that the isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. This time we, we consider the, the whole Christian church, many denominations and even factions within denominations that are at odds with one another. Christians, families, friends who may be in conflict. We pray for this humility that we would be subject to one another, that others would know that we are Christians by our love. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter. We pray at this time for many that are affected by rising costs of living, by the very expensive cost of housing in the city, the unaffordability, the crisis that, that has put families at the brink. And we know that there are um, there is the start of people starting to lose jobs as the economy may be moving towards recession or towards just harder times. So we pray for all those who are in those crises, in those hard times, or in that uncertainty. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. that by God's power, wars and famine may cease through all the earth. We pray for Sudan, for the fighting in Khartoum between the two factions. We pray for Syria. We pray 
for the people who have been displaced, half of the population that have been displaced by the Assad regime. Pray about the continuing fighting and violence in the Ukraine. We pray for much of the difficulties and the fighting and the conflict in Burma with the Rohingya and with also the some of the, the hill tribes that are fighting for autonomy. We pray for upcoming elections in Turkey, which might be a spark of unrest and instability. For all these concerns, all these places, all the peoples that are affected by them, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may re reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak, the dying, that they may be comforted and strengthened. We pray especially for the St. Paul's programs of grief share, of divorce care, of many people that are going through that, whether within the church community, but also from those that have um, come in from other places, working through their grief, having a place to share the, the trials and difficulties of divorce and broken relationships. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That God may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. As we approach Pentecost in a few more weeks, we remember the event of the Holy Spirit having tongues of fire on the disciples upon the followers of first followers of Jesus, how they spoke in tongues and the gospel was spread to the ends of the earth with so many different languages. And today we, we ask for the fire of the Holy Spirit to be on each Christian that they may know and proclaim Jesus is Lord in all their, all the things that they do, all the places that they are. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. And this week we pray especially for the family and friends of David Kent. We pray for his wife Mary, for their friends and family. We pray for the repose of his soul. We pray also for um, Asa Sold, who some of you may know is um, is, is close within the family and the staff team at St. Paul's. We pray for her family and her friends uh, during, and for all those that we know that have suffered loss and loss of loved ones, the death or sudden death of those that they, they hold dear. We lift them up to the Lord, so let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. And as we collect all of our prayers together, let us pray the collect on the bottom of page seven of the, the order of service. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick. Give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, 
and pity the distressed. All for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. And now, as our Savior taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And now let us all receive this blessing tonight. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for joining this night for this Compline night prayers here at St. Paul's. I do welcome uh, you to send any feedback, prayer requests that you have, and um, and and we we sincerely do pray for the families and friends of uh, David Kent and Asa Sold. If you do want to learn uh, and to join us to lead uh, the Compline, I do invite uh, any of you to send me a note. I know that some of you perhaps are, are writing in the chat, but um, I am usually helping out with Alpha for this season on Wednesday nights, so I'm not able to see the chat uh, live. So instead, please do send me an email. You can find my email address on the church website. And uh, I would very, very much look forward to sitting down and helping walk through um, leading Compline with you. And even if if you'd like to learn how to, how to lead Compline on your own, and not necessarily to record it and to share it with others, just if you'd like to learn how to do it and, and to lead Compline within your families, um, on your own time as your own personal devotion, um, I would be uh, very pleased to, to share and to uh, guide you through that process. So do let me know. This is one of the uh, areas which, in which um, part of my ministry at St. Paul's is to um, work on some of our liturgies and to be able to share them uh, widely with, with all of you. So once again, thank you for joining and I look forward to uh, catching you again the next time. Good night, bye.